Today on Ben's Wild Adventure, I'm going to be talking about the Nutria rat and the mink. I'm going to start with the Nutria rat. The Nutria rat is a type of rodent. It's also known as the river rat and also known as the koi poo. But despite its name and the way it looks, it's actually not really a rat. It's actually more closely related to beavers and muskrats. Because like beavers and muskrats, they swim, they eat wood, and they build lodges and dams. They're pretty large rodents. They can weigh up to 40 pounds. And they have ravenous appetites. They can eat up to 30% of their body weight in food every day. Which means they need to have 12 pounds of food a day. That's the equivalent of a 200 pound human eating 60 pounds, which is the weight of 240 hamburgers every day. And some people even make coats out of Nutria rat fur. And others who consider them as pests will sometimes shoot them and feed them to alligators. So obviously one of the enemies of the Nutria rat is the alligator. There was once a um, large rodent found outside New York City. It weighed 15 pounds. They thought it was a giant monster-sized brown rat at first, but then it turned out to just be a Nutria rat. And brown rats, by the way, are only two feet long and only weigh three pounds. Compare that to the average mouse, which only weighs an ounce. I'm here at the Great Bay Wildlife Refuge. You can, if you're looking for nutria rats, you can find them in places like this. Nutria rats like to live in ponds, lakes, rivers, streams, anywhere where there's fresh water. You see, they're a sim they behave like their cousins, the beavers and muskrats, because like I said, they swim and they build lodges and dams. So they spend more of their time in the water than on land, because that they're aquatic rodents. They have webbed feet that helps them swim. They can hold their breath for long periods of time. For example, a beaver can hold its breath for 15 minutes. And also, building lodges and dams keeps them safe from predators. Well, that's it for today. See you next time on Ben's Wild Adventure.